Instructor Emily here. Today we are doing Flowyo out of the virtual studio of the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas. Today we're going to be working a little bit of Tai Chi, some sun salutations, warrior poses, all of the good things. You're going to definitely get a good burn today. So all you need is a mat. So we'll start standing. Spread your legs really wide into wide Wu Chi. Lift your chest. Take a nice deep breath in and bend your knees. Keep your hands soft and bring them to the side. So we're gonna have a little bit of a combo. Sweep the arms across. One, two, and slow, three, four. Soften your hands and just shift your body weight from side to side. So we're just getting warm and bring your attention into your breath. Breathe in, in the nose. And you might take your hands to the, or your eyes to the inside of your hands. Shoulders and elbows are soft, and your fingers are soft. And if you're looking for a little bit more warmth, just bend your knees a little bit more. Just pay attention to your feet and the floor, and just feel that gentle weight shift. Beautiful. It's like your finger painting. Good, just a couple more. One more time. Slowing yourself down. Now bring your right arm up and over. Maybe take your eye gaze with you. And really lift your elbow up high so we can start opening up through the lats and the pecs even. Breathing in the nose and out the mouth. Such a great way to start the day, really bringing your body and your breath together as one. Just a few more. My ankles are popping. <laughs> do your ankles do that? Okay, take a wide fold, come on down. And then just hinge the hips and lean to the side. All the way up again. And then nice exhale down. One vertebrae at a time. And if you're really searching for that extra stretch for the inside of your thighs, just tilt the hips back a little bit more. It's just gonna give you a bigger stretch. And you just kind of find a range that feels good for your body, right? It might not be coming so low. Once you find the range, I want you to really connect the flow from the roll to the hinge. Good, a couple more, nice big breath in. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows. Let's just take a few swings. Bring your feet under your hips, swinging down and up. Bring a lot of breath in, just let it go. Tuck your tailbone under, brace the core. One more. Good, let's do some sun sals. Bring your feet to the top of your mat, together if you can. Extend a mountain first, chest up. Breathe in, bring your arms up overhead. And then forward fold, knees bent. Take your right leg back to lunge, the knees over the heel. Down dog, feet hip width. Press out of your hands, roll forward to plank. First round, just drop to your knees. Lower down to your belly. And then we'll start with the baby cobra. Lifting up, squeezing the butt, shoulders back and down. And then down dog, hips are high. Take your right leg and bring it between your hands. If you need to, help the calf through. Knee down, come up to an arch. Bring your hands down and then step into fold. That's our combo. We're gonna repeat it a couple more times. Breathe in, extended mountain. Squeeze the buns to protect your low back. Exhale to forward fold. The left leg steps back. 
Exhale, and let the hips melt. Down dog, whoosh. Breathe in, tuck the chin and roll. Now if you can, stay on your toes, but you can drop to your knees. Exhale, down. Flip your feet, breathe in, to up dog. Now loop the shoulders back and down so you're super stable. Exhale, down dog. The left leg lunges. Grab calf if you need to. We want that knee over heel so we have a good stretch. Knee down. Take an arch. Pressing the hip flexor forward. Should feel real good. Come to forward fold. Again, inhale. Relax the shoulders. Maybe press the hips forward a little. Exhale, fold. Right leg steps back. Lifting the chest, elongating the spine. Down dog, big exhale. Pull your chest towards your thighs. Breathe in. Now if the chaturanga so is not for you today, feel free to do a cat-cow pose instead of the up dog. Sound good? Down dog. Right leg lunge. Now drop the knee. I want you to really feel your hips coming forward as you arch. Feel that big stretch in the front of your leg. Oh, it's so good. Come on down. Rising up one more time. Big exhale, relax your head, relax your shoulders. Left leg back. Eye gaze forward. Big exhale on the down dog. Whoosh. Inhale, roll. Pushing the shoulders down. Exhale down powerfully. Flip feet, up dog. We made it. Are you warm now? <laughs> Come on up to standing. Bend your knees, roll on up. We're gonna set you up in a warrior pose. So I point my right toe to the side and my left heel out. Bend your right knee and square your hips towards the front. Arms up, relax your shoulders. So spread your toes and ground your heel. Level two, can you lift the heel? Now wherever you are, I want you to keep the knee right on top of the heel so we're working both sides and it's really stable. Take a breath in and reach to your left. Keep your knee bent and if you're on your toe, balance right on top of the ball of your foot between big toe and second toe. Take a breath out. Can you reach? Lean in over that thigh, there's your pressure. So we're really working the stabilizing muscles in your knee, ankle. You can do it, hang in there. Extend warrior. Now, if you can, both hands reach. Otherwise, feel free to come to your elbow. Or maybe you can come to your ankle. The choice is yours, choose your own adventure. Now take a breath in. Can you lift your chest? Revolve. Just a couple more breaths. When you feel the pressure, I want you to really focus on the breath. Woo, release. Oh, that was so good. All right, let's do the other side. Left toe out, right heel out. Bend the knee. Now, if it's really hard to keep the hips forward and you feel your knee coming in, one trick is to just bring this leg forward a little bit, okay? Just make it a little easier on your hips. Now reach, like someone's pulling on you and you're so close. Exhale, reach the other way. How deep can you come into your leg? You know how long it is. Take it one breath at a time. You can do that, right? Stay in it. Can you lift the heel? Ooh, maybe, even if it's a micro lift, right? We're building strength in your ankles. It's gonna support you when you're hiking on a trail, step on a rock bunny, it happens. So we're building that stability. Injury-free is what we want. Take another breath in. Maybe rotate the chest towards the ceiling. You are radiating out of your hands. Let's try it one more time, each side. Switch your feet, bend knee and reach. 
Look at that range. We want to search for the range and back it up with strength, right? You did it. Oh, how are you feeling? Oh my goodness, my thighs. Shake it out. Bring your feet together. And we're going to work balance. Lift your heels and squeeze your butt. Lift the chest, take a breath in. Open the arms softly to your sides. Heels down. We're gonna learn a series of movements. First, lift your right leg. Hug it in. It might be low, it might be high. We're just searching through that mobility in the hip. Yeah? Open to the side. Just see where you can go. How far to the side can you go? Does it need to go lower? Bend the supporting leg for balance. Flower pose. Grab the ankle, and you're either in a quad stretch or you can lift the knee up and back. Arm out for balance. And then release your leg. Now you might need to bring your foot all the way down to the floor. That's okay. If you have the balance, take a little dive. Let's try the other leg. So that's our combo. Add some breath. Take a breath in, give the knee a hug. And I always keep my supporting leg a little bent to find that extra balance. Reach, can you lift your chest? Grab ankle, rotate. And you might need to drop the knee a little bit to create space for your hip joint. That's okay. And sometimes we fall a little bit. Don't worry. You just try again. Can you release? Is the foot close to the floor? That's okay. Take a breath. Stretch your breath to support you. Let's try the other side a little faster. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Revolve. Find a place to focus your eye gaze. Square the shoulders, square the hips, and dive. Other side, touch down. Beautiful. We're moving slowly, connecting with our breath. Trusting our breath, trusting ourselves. Maybe working on that a little bit. Lean. One more time, maybe we can do it without touching our leg. Hollow out the belly. Inflate. We're gonna take flight, y'all. Take a breath in, exhale and dive. And switch. So what if we fall? or lose our balance. That is what life is all about. We fall, we get up, and we try again, and again and again. And when we do that, we get stronger. Doesn't matter what it looks like. One more time. Find a place to focus, concentrate. Reach out, balance, chest to floor. Last one, here we go. brave. Trust yourself. Feet together. Lift your heels. Squeeze your butt. Just open the arms and just surrender to this moment. One more breath in the nose. Oh. 
Balance is not easy. It comes with time. Everybody, let's come and stretch our hips for a little bit. Step your feet outside your hips. Turn your toes slightly out. And we're just gonna settle into a Hindi squat. Now you might be stopping here. Heck, you could pull out a chair. We're just working on pushing the knees out, okay? Push the knees out with your elbows, hands to heart. Take a breath in, lift your chest. Exhale and just let the hips snuggle in. Ooh, I kind of like to rock back and forth and just kind of have a sense of inquiry of to the tension you're kind of holding on to. And if it feels good to linger anywhere, you just kind of listen in and stay where you need to stay. Yeah, one more breath, chest up, shoulders down. Take a side reach, left arm up. Maybe you can take your eye gaze up a little bit. Really focus on pushing the chest forward because we want to get into those pectoral muscles too. Let's go to the other side. Press the knee out, open the chest, and that chest is popping out proud. Awesome, have a seat. Now, bring your right leg in front, left leg behind. So we got a little 90-90 going on. Lean on this hand. It's a little bit, about a foot away from your hip. Push the hips forward. We're gonna draw a circle with our arms. Keep coming back. Feel your chest lifting. Feel that stretch across your pec, right in towards your armpit. And keep breathing. Every time you inhale, you are just gonna pop your chest straight up to the ceiling. Exhale and press your hip forward. Ooh, I love that one. It really helps me get into my psoas muscle, which gets a little overactive when I'm sitting for long periods of time. It makes my back feel a lot better. Ah, oh, can you bring your feet together and just lean into this stretch? Ah, oh, don't have to go very far to feel it. Just keep your spine long. Okay, let's spiral on the other side. This time the left leg's in front, right leg in back. Arm about a foot away from your hip. Hips come forward. Here's your big circle. Take your time. Invite the breath. Inhale, rib cage and heart space expand and lift. Ooh. And just let those hips keep coming forward. Open up the in front of the body. This is incredible. Just a couple more breaths. Yeah. yeah. Ah. One more stretch. Okay. I'm going to spread my knees apart. Now, if this bothers your knees, feel free to grab a couple of pillows or some extra padding. You might even roll your mat over on the sides. My ankles are behind my knees. Draw the belly in so you have a strong, stable spine. And then just let the hips snuggle in. You might lean forward or back. If it's too much, bring your toes together and sit into a wide child's pose. Good, nice breath in, belly in. Exhale and just let the hips snuggle down in. Maybe you just wanna explore a little bit. Leaning forward, leaning back. Ooh, is that awesome? Let's practice some yoga lunges. Okay, come to down dog. Lift your hips high. And we're gonna bend the knees, lunge the right leg between hands. Oh, after that frog pose, I feel pretty good here. Come back to down dog and do the other leg. Yeah, how's that feel? Maybe you can go a little faster. And out. And you might be practicing just grabbing that calf, just developing that skill of getting into a lunge where the knee's right over the heel. That's good practice. And if you're feeling real frisky, can you jump? Oh, ready, set, go. Oh. The secret is to put your weight in your hands oh. and then pull the knee in real close to your chest. Just kidding, I'm just showing off. All right. 
<laughs> Just a couple more. If you want to slow down, you can slow down through this. It's all good. One more. We're getting close. We're just gonna work your core muscles and you can be done today. All right, go ahead and lie down onto your back and bring your knees over your hips, arms to the side and just ground your shoulders. And I'm gonna tilt my knees to the side. If I can, I'm gonna lengthen my legs. Now draw a little smiley face. So we come down and then back up, yeah? Again, slow. Now, if you're pregnant and you can't lay on your back, an option would be is to pop up onto your elbows. And if that's too much, you can always just bring your toes to the ground, extend one or two legs. Does that sound good? Options for everyone. Okay, nice smiley face a little bit faster and extend. So here's our goal. We want to keep our spine stable. So push your belly button down in towards the floor and breathe. So in Pilates, we breathe in your nose and out your mouth. All right? Something new. Bring your knees over your hips. We're crunching four times and then lengthening arms and legs. Oh man, again, four, three, two, one, arms and legs extend. Now, if you feel your back coming off the mat, that's a pretty good indication that we want to maybe take the legs up just a little bit higher. So you decide, and you might even just keep your knees bent and decrease the lever length, right? We're gonna be here a long time, so I want you to focus your breath in the nose, out the mouth. Yes, you might even try hissing a little bit or shushing. In the nose, press your belly down into the spine. And remember, if you're here, you might just be pulling the knees in, lengthening, should I try it one time without? This is how I get out of doing reps the hard way. <laughs> I just do the back to work. All right, let's do a couple more. Exhale, push, shh, shh. How are you doing? Are you starting to feel the pressure? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so good. I want you to hang in there because we are training your spine. Yes? We're training the muscles that surround the spine so it stays really strong so you can do all the things that you love. Let's draw another smiley face. Okay, here we go. Come on down. Beautiful. How wide can you make your smile? Ooh, feel how that gets into the obliques a little bit more? Yeah, 360 training, guys. I'm gonna get the front, do the side. Okay, we're gonna add on to this, okay? Draw the smiley face. And then reach up and down. How about that? Let's give it a try. Big smiley face. Exhale as you reach. All the air. Awesome. Can you reground your shoulder into the mat? Yeah? Really stable in the upper body, stable in the lower body. Okay, we're so close. Don't you give up. I've shown you modifications. If you have to modify, modify, don't quit. You can. These are the most important reps, so you are going to focus on your breath, and you're gonna get these reps in, because it's gonna make you stronger, healthier, because you got a healthy spine, you got a healthy life. It is key. And you are so close to the finish line. Don't give up. This is where you're gonna realize you have so much more to give. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, oh, we made it, finish line. Yay, roll over. <laughs> okay, so I want you to put your feet on the floor 
push your shoulders down and pull the elbows towards your hips. It's a good stretch, yes? Ah. Uh, good. Come on down. I'm gonna flip myself to the other side. Squeeze your buns and we're gonna reach back and forward. Come and bring your hands along the side of your body. Squeeze your butt, shoulders down. Mm -hmm. So we're lifting the chest, hovering the arms along the surface of the floor. Inhale through the nose, pull the hands towards the heel and reach. Yes. So say hello to the back of your body. Yep, core muscles as well. Awesome. Now I want you to feel your shoulders coming down and your shoulder blades coming together. Are you squeezing your butt as tight as humanly possible? Mm, strong glutes protects your lower lumbar. Keep it coming. Okay, this one's gonna be a good one. How high can you get your chest up? How high? Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay, new exercise challenge. Iguana, put your hands softly on the floor. Lift your chest. Let your arms go. Touch down and lower down. Yep. Right about now. Oh, right about now. My glutes are fired up. Oh my gosh. Now, bring some attention to the upper body by pushing the shoulders down and squeezing your shoulder blades together. Can you feel that tension, that power control? So good. It's going to help your posture. You're going to feel so much better. Yep. All right. Woo. Breather. Flip over. Okay, bridge pose. Roll the shoulders under, and if you can, clasp your hands underneath. And I'm gonna push out of my heels and lift my hips really high. Yes? Oh, we are so close. This is our last exercise. Squeeze your butt and try to keep your hips level. Here's another challenge. Lifting one leg and extend. Yes. Moving super slow, and I want you to bring your attention to your hips. They are very level and still. Yes? Okay. Can you lift your hips up just like a quarter inch right here? Just that little extra push. If you're feeling frisky, fingers to shoulders. <laughs> Okay, press to a full bridge. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. The same thing applies, keeping the hips high and still so that you can transfer your balance one leg at a time. All right. Everybody just hold your bridge. Last breath, hips high. Yep. Nice and tight, hips high, shoulder blades tucked under. Three, two, one. Oh, you did it. Go ahead and pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Oh, maybe give yourself a little mini massage. Just rock back and forth. Y'all did so good. How about a little bit of a cat cow as we're getting up? We did so many good things today, working that asymmetrical training with the balancing, stabilization for your ankles, knees, and hips, core strength, everything you need. You need to do this twice a week. Say yes, ma'am, and do it. I'm not joking. I'm going to ask. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Flow Yo Strength with your favorite instructor, Emily, at the virtual studio of YMCA Metropolitan Dallas. Awesome, I'll see you next time.